Yo, what's up guys? Before the video starts, let me give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, Tappin.gg. Tappin.gg is a website that helps you find whatever teammate you currently need. Whether it's someone for your ranked games, for a flex game, a coach, or someone you can play Aram with. Tappin.gg will make sure you find the perfect teammate within just minutes. If you're struggling with your rank, understanding the game, or just having fun in general, this is your solution. Also, if you use the promo code NAIL or the link in the description, you get 20% off your next three teammates. Make this season your best season with tapin.gg. Thank you, Tapin, for sponsoring the video and enjoy the rest of the show, guys. Thank you. Oh, I actually, um, I got bored like recently and I decided to write down like the entire timeline of how Riot fucked up Aatrox in recent times. Like, it's actually quite interesting, and I think this is 100% accurate. It's a long text, but this is hilarious. Like, if you actually, like, think it in retrospect right now, it is genuinely funny. So, I'll just read it kind of semi, right? So, like, after season 9, 10, 11, and 12, it was mostly Bruiser Aatrox. Level 12, it was already with Eclipse, which was kinda not, but after Eclipse, it was full Bruiser. So I would still count season 12 as a Bruiser season. So after season 9, 10, 11, and 12, of course, consistent Bruiser builds on Aatrox, the classic drain tank frontline playstyle, Riot's incompetence started, okay? Se season 13, if we think back, very messy. The season started with Ravenous Hydra Jack Shu, then you went like Icebound Gauntlet Cleaver, and then I invented the Even Shroud build and made it popular for like five months, right? That was basically season 13, the first half. Then the second half, in season 13, Riot released, if you remember, Duskblade. Anyone remembers Duskblade? How fun Duskblade was? Exactly. And after Duskblade got released, Aatrox started dominating pro play and solo queue like crazy. And he had the highest ban rate I have ever seen in my life. Season 13 late like was terrible to play. It was not fun to play Aatrox. I hate it. So that was Riot's failure number one basically with Duskblade. I mean you could already say like those are two failures because the season start they had these shitty items that nobody wanted to play but we had to and then you got even shroud as well so and then like a dusk blade you know it's kind of a double failure but whatever dusk blade aatrox literally won skt1 the world championships i think we all agree on that if it wasn't for dusk blade aatrox zeus wouldn't have done these games every now and then you know it would have been more harder so t1 got the championships because of lethality aatrox one of the reasons so after that, Riot is like, man, Lethality Aatrox so OP, Zeus destroyed literally everyone with Lethality. It was Duskblade, Edge of Night or whatever. Uh, what should we do? They made changes. They made his W and the passive bonus damage, which used to be AD, now magic damage. Now remember this, because it will come full circle to the next patch today, okay? This change, by the way, did not stop Lethality. It didn't stop Duskblade. People, the entire community, played Duskblade until the end of season, no problem. And in season 14, Riot removed Duskblade because they realized they are a failure, right? So whatever. Now season 14, this season, started promising with the new Bruiser items. You started playing Sundered Sky builds. But here's the problem. You started playing Sundered Sky for like three or four months, maybe five. Because then Riot systematically didn't nerf Sundered Sky. They nerfed Sundered Sky. They nerfed Sterax. They nerfed the uh, Dev Stands. They nerfed, I think, even Spirit. They nerfed basically everything. Everything for Bruisers. They nerfed it all. They nerfed Maw as well. Enjoy. They nerfed Spear of Sojin. They nerfed everything, okay? Okay, sure. After nerfing all Bruiser items and not nerfing any Lethality items, the unpredictable happened. No one could have seen this. Aatrox and also other champions started playing Profane Hydra and Lethality. Wow, it happened. Okay, and this was the Antichrist return of Lethality Aatrox. I think this was Aatrox, uh, this was Riot's failure number three. Like, disgusting, right? 
the fact that they handled it that way was terrible. Now, Lethality Aatrox this season ran wild. It uh, dominated pro play and solo queue again, just like last season. And even after they nerfed Profane Hydra, and I think they nerfed Edge of Night, people didn't stop and still don't stop playing Lethality because it is probably just better. It was simply better. After failing to balance Aatrox around Bruiser three times in a row, it was time to do it a fourth time. So, you guys all rem remember Aatrox E changes, right? Scale with HP, so they try to force us to buy HP damage items. They try to force us to buy the Bruiser items, okay? But it was placebo, it was only for a very short time, and people like me, I tried Bruiser, and it didn't give me the effect I really craved, and guess what? People went back, people went back to playing Lethality again. And some people, by the way, actually say that Lethality Aatrox now scales better, because with the E changes, they also buffed uh, the Aatrox ultimate. So, people say that lethality scales better now. Whatever, Riot's failure number four. Now, this, was, this, this whole paragraph is just the W, right? While all of this is happening, they decided to do bug fixes to the Aatrox W. And Aatrox W in the past was al already very wonky and semi-reliable. But that W that could pull people for five years only pulled because of a bug. And now we got the real W. And this is how it's intended to be. And now it's the most inconsistent, unreliable, unpredictable spell in League of Legends. Because we're in a ranged high mobility meta. So of course Aatrox W is gonna be terrible, right? Okay. I think that was another failure from Riot. Doing this to his W was terrible. But whatever. Bug fix, I guess. So I guess it's fine. And here's the joke. The big joke. If you guys don't know, next patch, Riot is buffing Black Cleaver. And now listen to me closely, chat. I want you guys to listen to me. The buff that Riot did to Black Cleaver was remove the 0 0.1, 0 0.01 second time window between stacks. What does that mean? That means champions like Urgot, with his passive shotgun leg, if he, if he shoots you one time, his, his basic attack is a damage, and his... Uh, leg damage is a separate damage. So those are two damage instances combined in one. Now, if a Urgot shoots you with the new Black Cleaver, it will be two stacks instead of one stack. So that will be the buff. Same thing with Viego. Viego, like Q, like his empowered auto attack, will be... Uh, I think, if I'm not wrong, I think Viego Q would also work like that. But I think Urgot is the perfect example. If Urgot shoots you now with Black Cleaver, and the shotgun leg, it's only one stack. But with this buff, Urgot will get two stacks, okay? So it's a good Black Cleaver buff. And a Black Cleaver buff could have been... It could have been helping us. It could have helped Aatrox go back to the Bruiser build, maybe. Here is the joke. Here is the joke. Aatrox does not profit from this buff. Remember why? Because of this. Because they changed his passive to magic damage. They changed, remember? They changed his passive to magic damage. So Aatrox doesn't profit because they changed his passive to magic damage, which was like, um, it was, the, that was a reason. They changed it to magic, so people bought Bruiser again. And now, the failures have come full circle, where Aatrox, listen to me, where Aatrox, the most popular bruiser, where Riot, not me, this is not me, this is Riot, they wanted to be played as a bruiser. Aatrox does not profit from buffs given to a bruiser item because of previous changes that were meant to make him a bruiser in the first place. That is crazy. You could not make this up how stupid it is. You can't make it up. And for context, if you're confused, right now Aatrox's most popular build in Master and above is Eclipse Profane Hydra. So, there you go. People still don't buy Bruiser items. I just think it's funny how last year Riot removed the physical damage from Aatrox's passive into magic because they say they want people to play Bruiser. <laughs> and now, when they buff a Bruiser item, 
Aatrox doesn't get profit from that Bruza item because of changes made to him that were intended to make him a Bruza. <laughs> like, I don't have a problem with it. I'm not complaining. I don't care. I just, like, do you see how stupid Riot is? You know what I mean? I play Lethality. It's fine. It's stronger. It's good. It's not weak. It's good. I play Lethality. No problem. But this is like black and white. It's black and white proof where you see Riot has no idea what they're doing. They have no idea how to make Aatrox a bruiser. They have no clue. They have no clue. So that was a small story time. That was a story time. I was yapping a lot. But that was kind of a... That was the entire time. Simply said, that was everything with, uh, with Aatrox and Riot. And by the way, this wasn't just Aatrox balance changes. This was just for the bruiser. Aatrox had some other changes as well, I think. But just talking about making him a bruiser champion. They're crazy. Riot is crazy in the head. Bro, imagine you release five, like, different things to make a champion a bruiser build. And then you buff a bruiser build. And the champion you wanted to buy bruiser cannot buy it. That's crazy, no? Alright, uh, replay versus Gnar with fleet footwork. That's gonna be annoying. No! His E is down. Alright! I think I'm slow pushing this one and then push the next one. It will be a cannon, right? Yeah. Bro, are you okay? I mean, he's taking a shit ton of minion damage here. I think I should win this. Ah! I mean, he's Mega Nar anyway, so who cares? He's still level 4, by the way. Alright, he's gonna be forced to TP. Why did he do that? Why did he tank all of that wave? He should've just let it crash after he died. Oh, what the hell? Hey, good shit. Oh fuck. Ouch. Holy.
Boss, you missed. Okay, W, that won't hit. Almost, almost. By the way, why is this icon bugged? Like, Riot fixed this shit. He is not mega right now. That's a lot of damage, dude. Shut down. That was good. Oh, of course it doesn't pull. That was scary. Oh. Should I try Collector?
There's just not that many good lethality items. I feel like I can go Yumus. That kind of makes more sense. And like last item Sterax, I guess. I mean, this has a lot of movement speed with opportunity. It's synergizing, right? Four, four, two, three. I suck. Well, go finish. That flash that I did was super bad spacing. Like, I, that was not even close to her. Team can't finish, but whatever. I'm stupid. That was a dumb thing. That was a dumb thing to do. Quickly recall with the Nash before it's gone. Oh, never mind. We got one more minute. I'm, I'm, I'm not paying attention. I gave a shutdown to him, by the way. He like he will one shot my ass. I tried. But he hit me with two right clicks and I died. I think Stadax is needed. I think Stadax is needed. I mean, I could also go Zerilda's last item. Oh, no, I'm st <laughs> Wait, I'm stupid. I have Cleaver. Never mind. I thought I didn't have Cleaver. I have Cleaver. I can't go Zerilda's. If you go Black Cleaver, Zerilda's gets locked. If you go Zerilda's, Black Cleaver gets locked. The thing is with Yumus, Yumus doesn't have any ability haste. So I'm kind of missing that from Hubris now. Flip it, flip it, flip it! <laughs> we won the coin flip. We won the coin flip. Alright, Starox. It should be a pretty big shield, no? 1000? And I get some tenacity? I mean, the tenacity is super cope, but whatever. I guess it's 25 with a chemtech, so surely I don't get CC'd, right, Kappa? Go for a hook. That worked really well. Yeah, man. Bruiser Aatrox, we should play that, right? We should play that instead, not Lethality. How the fuck did I survive that shit, dude? Alright, that was lucky, man. That team fight looked really bad at the end. It really did. 43k. That was pretty nice.